Today we're out here shooting a dandy little SIG 9mm pistol, the model P938. Uh, ever since the 238 came out a couple of years ago, uh, people have been hollering for a full 9mm power in a similar package, and uh, SIG has delivered. They've had them on the market now for a few months, and they're uh, good little pistols. One we're looking at here, and I got it in this uh, poster from Rob Leahy. Keeps it compact, uh, tied up against you. It's an easy way to carry it. You can position it anywhere around your body you want to. But this is from uh, Simply Rugged Holsters. Rob Leahy makes them, and uh, he does a real good job on them. And it's a good way to carry this little SIG. Now, this uh, SIG is designed to be carried cocked and locked, just like I got it right here. Single action trigger, which makes it uh, easy to operate. Uh, you know, if you can operate a 1911, you can operate this little gun. Because the magazine release is in the same place. The slide lock is in the same place. It comes with two different magazines. This one is a seven round mag with an extension there to get you a little finger on it, gives you a little bit better hold. And this is a six round mag, makes it a little bit more compact as you can, it's six flush right there. I prefer the feel of the larger mag, and uh, but if you need something, if you're gonna carry it in your pocket or whatever in a pocket holster, the flush mag would probably be better. This one gives you a little more, a little more grip on the gun. Uh, for a little better hold if you're shooting some uh, pretty hot logs in it. Another thing this has got, uh, this 938, it's got the SIG light night sights, which is something that uh, it's ideal if you're carrying a, a weapon for defense. Uh, chances are if you need it, it's going to be in the dark. That's when most of the thugs come out and apply their trade. They take drugs and sleep all day, I think. But anyway, they come out at night and you got to be able to put your bullet where you want to. You know, an example of this, I recently had a uh, that shooting up in uh, New York where uh, some bystanders got ended up getting hit by some bullet fragments or bullets that the police were shooting and the police might get away with that. Me and you, we're responsible for every bullet that comes out of that gun where it lands. You gotta be able to put it where you want to and the night sights help you to put that bullet where you need to. Uh, the gun's got a real comfortable beaver tail grip on it. Uh, so it comes up here and pads that section of your hand. Doesn't hurt at all being shooting it. And uh, it's real comfortable to shoot. I really love the ambidextrous safety on it being a left-hander. That's something I really like. Anyway, this is a compact little gun with an empty magazine in place. It weighs exactly 17 ounces on my scale. And it gives you, with this mag, you got a total of eight shots or a total of seven shots with your other mag. And it's a, a good shooting little gun. Trigger pull's a little heavy. Measure just a little over eight pounds on this gun, which for a, a defensive pistol, that's okay. You don't, you, you know, you're not just paper punching with it at Camp Perry. You want something that's going to go off when you need it to, but you don't want it to go off before you're ready. If you're tense, your opponent's tense, everybody's tense, you need a trigger pull that's a little heavier than normal so you can uh, make sure the gun don't go off until you're ready to. But anyway, it's a good little weapon. You get stuff. It's easy to hold, easy to shoot. The sights are good. You know, I mentioned those night sights, but they're also high profile. I also had a reader uh, email me just a couple of days ago and said that uh, the it wasn't shooting the point of aim on his gun that his uh, uh, front sight that it was shooting too high, uh, which would indicate a too tall front sight. But uh, this one's right at point of aim on mine at 10 yards, and uh, even out to 15, 25, hits where I want it to. So it depends on your load. You know, you can adjust your load to make it hit uh, where you want it to and how you hold your pistol. It works really well for me. The grip's thin. It's got these uh, uh, thin black checkered, a uh, whole G10 grip panels on it, which gives you a good hold. All blacked out like this with a little two-tone parts. Uh, C's calling this one the uh, 938 Nightmare. And it's a, a good little gun to carry. It's a reliable little 9mm. It's accurate, and uh, it's a good defensive weapon. And it's available from uh, Sig Sire. I'm going to shoot this a little bit and demonstrate the recoil. I've got some good hot loads in here. It's Buffalo Bore, 95 grain plus P. Comes screaming out of this short barrel at a little over 1,300 feet per second. Uh, it does a really good job, and it's the uh, Barnes lead-free bullet, so it penetrates well, but it will also expand readily, and uh, does a really good job. I really like the lead-free stuff for these 9 millimeters and other pistols. Another thing I want to mention on this, it does not have a magazine safety, so that's a good feature. You know, if you accidentally drop your magazine or something, you still got one shot in there, and the slide can be cycled with your safety on, which I really like because you don't have to take it off safe to empty the weapon. That's a good feature. 